it's a godforsaken hour again. We're on the plane, about to take off to go to New York to eat. Pretty much almost the sole purpose of the trip. I like a new Lincoln with all of its class. I like a martini. In the city, in Manhattan, going to eat. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's X I apostrophe A N. Zion Famous Foods? How do you say it? This is our Chinese friend. Home. He's not Chinese. Chinese Vietnamese. Zion Famous Food. So this is the um, key pork noodle. This is number N3. Sour, savory, a little spice. Not spicy at all. It's not spicy, right? So this is the lamb. Which is the N1. Spicy cumin lamb noodles. Similar noodles. Spicy and sour spinach dumpling. Okay, your rating on Zion food. Out of five? Out of five? Maybe three and a half. Three and a half? That's it? Yeah. Yeah, three and a half. I agree. It's pretty good, but. It ain't that famous. It ain't that famous. <laughs> It's different. It's different from anything I've had. It's different from a lot of the Chinese food we have in Houston. What's your rating, home? I agree with a three and a half. Home's rating is three and a half. So on to restaurant number two, Maharalika. Oh, here. It's right over here. Oh, oh we're in Maharalika. Okay, so we're here at Maharalika. 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 I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right either. And uh, Christine says they have a fish sauce michelada, which is supposed to be That's pretty good. the best. Well, I've never had a fish sauce michelada before, but it was, I was scared to try it. She tried making it at home and it was... It was to me, it wasn't as good as the food was. It was bad. Yeah, after I had that butter, that's when I was like, oh, I'm gonna make it too butter. That you like. I mean, that's pretty creative. It's a blue waffle made out of yams with uh, coconut syrup, syrup and anchovy oh, butter. Nothing but the best is good enough for me. All right, what's your rating on Marlika? Uh, maybe like four stars? Out of five? Yeah. I like four the blue waffle. Uh, the garlic rice. The pork was really good too. I like the mushy parts. And then, um, love that fish sauce michelada. What do you think? Food was pretty good. Uh, the waffles taste the best for me. Chicken the was eh. anchovy yeah, butter. It's different. Fermented anchovy butter. Alright, it's so cold in New York. So we had to stop by Uniqlo, buy a jacket. We're just killing some time. So we're gonna go check out Milk Bar. Milk Bar. I wonder if Christina Tosi will be there. We're gonna go say hi to Christina Tosi, Christine's best friend from MasterChef. And then uh, go see my cousin, David Chang. Milk and Hops, pretty cool place. Catch a quick beer and snacks. We're on our way to Milk Bar because we were cold. How do you like New York so far, home? How do I like it so far? It's all right. This is the uh, cornflake pie cookie. Is that what it's called? Cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow. Definitely tastes like cornflakes. I have a sweet tooth. So what do you think? I like it. Dude, everyone farts. No one's gonna care that you farted, yeah, okay? No one has caught me farting. Who cares? This is why I don't want to sit next to John at work. Yeah, box is full. Mmm. This? This is good. What is this? Chocolate chocolate. 
Dude, this is pretty solid. I like it. It's like the perfect bitter sweet chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate chocolate from Milk Bar. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. So we're gonna try compost cookie. Uh, pecans in it, chocolate chip. Looks I like, like some pecans in the compost. Oatmeal. Oh, you mm. take coffee in here? Coffee ground, right? Light brown sugar, butterscotch chips. Oh, it's butterscotch then. Okay, the highlight of Milk Bar is the cereal milk. Cereal milk. And they put uh, pasteurized milk with cereal. I don't know what kind of cereal, but it's generic. And they drain the, um, they filter out the cereal pulp and just bottle the milk. I wonder what they do with the cereal pulp that's left over. Try cereal. It's good. It is good. But I can't believe they make so much money off of this, which we can make at home. I had this idea when I was like eight. Man, that's good. Is it just white? I never like drinking some milk, but if milk always tastes like that, I drink. The milk is always good at the end of your cereal. Yeah. So we're here at uh, Crypt Dogs, and that's where the uh, entrance to uh, Please, don't tell. Please Don't Tell Bar. It's like a speakeasy. And you go through a little phone booth. Oh, sorry. We're like in the way. And uh, we made a reservation, and we're gonna go check it out. You have to call at 3 p.m. the day of. Yeah, pro tip, call 3 p.m. You get a reservation. I've tried two times. Even the master chef can't get in here. You can walk in, but you have to wait. And you say, Malik. Uh, reservation under John. Nothing but the best is good enough for me. I like to eat lobster directly from Maine. I like to see bullfights in sunny old Spain. All right, it's so cold in New York. I gotta have my hood on. Christine's got her, her parka hoodie on. But uh, we just left uh, Please Don't Tell Bar. Yep. Really cool. Uh, very unique bar that we've ever been to because you go through a telephone booth and um, cocktails are all fifteen dollars. Really good, cocktails solid. Are pretty good. Um, um, but my favorite was a six dollar huge serving of or the tater tots, tots, yeah. cheese. It's just like a giant heaping basket. You can't of go wrong with tater tots and cheese, no matter nacho what. Nacho cheese. No matter it's what. It's like the fake cheese. High class cocktail you're drinking. Yeah, like the fake cheese that you get at ballparks. Home is still behind us. What? It's about what? 9 p.m. And we're getting hungry. So we're gonna go look for this yakitori toishi. Toisho. Oh, I don't know. We'll post the information below. Hey, man. That's the that, 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 that. We got some fucking crazy people in New York. Yelling. We're gonna go eat some yakitori. <laughs> Lines long. It's freaking packed up in there. Maybe no chance. We'll see how long the wait is. Cheers, babe. Let's cheers. Yeah. Oh, dang, this is big. I should have known this. There's ice in there. Okay, so we got we got French fries over here. Let's come up with uh, just a very simple uh, mayo and brown. Oh, good. Man, this is good. This place is good. Chicken fried or fried chicken. Oh my god. The grease is really hot. Oh man, but that grease is good. <laughs> this might be the best chicken stew I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Dude, that was solid. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah. When I eat really good food that is like almost like, see I don't want to say mind blowing because when people come here they're going to expect their minds to be blown but 
like good drink, good food. That's like the best thing in life. So we were talking about the bill, and I was like, okay, the cost of the bill is what's going to determine how many stars I give in. Because I'm all about like you know how long you have to wait for a place versus the quality of the food versus like how much you have to pay. So I was like, you know, we're in New York, so I'm like, okay, for this meal, I'll be happy if it was under like seventy bucks. I would give it five stars. Our bill came out. 43 bucks. So give me a five out of five. Yakitori Taisho. Taisho. So we're back at the hotel and it's only 10 and uh, we're just really tired. I'm gonna finish off the day with some compost cookie. Yeah. All right, so it's been a long day. It's 10 p.m. and we're gonna check out early. We've been up since 3.30 in the morning. So, more tomorrow, guys.